Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hope, and today we are going to do a full historical romance TBR wrap-up. Um, and I think some things are going to have to change coming up because I am just not reading all of these books. So I had six books that I wanted to read on this TBR, and I've read three. So, I mean, a little bit of progress, but truly not a ton because I feel like I'm never finishing these. So I think next time I'm going to, like, cut the number down a little bit, which I used to have, like, 12 books on these TBRs, and they have clearly gone down considerably um I could not imagine I have not been reading as much lately I don't know what it is I have been in the weirdest reading slump like if I have things to do like at work and stuff when I come home the last thing I want to do is like read I just want to scroll mindlessly on TikTok which might be a TikTok thing who knows but I read three books so I mean it wasn't that bad I did not really read any new authors or anything but like I said read a couple so I read Lady Daring Takes a Lover. This is book one in the Palace of Rogues series. This is a series that I'm reading very much out of order. But I thought this one was really interesting because you get to see how the Grand Palace on the Thames, which is what the boarding house that was formerly known as the Grand Pal or the Palace of Rogues, actually came to be. So we're following Delilah and Tristan. Delilah was married to, I want to say he's like a Marquess, and he's died. And he had all these debts. He left her basically nothing, but he did own one property outright. The Grand Palace on the Thames, or Palace of Rogues, if you will. And she doesn't know why he owned it, but she also finds out he had a mistress because she meets the girl. And the two of them decide to go into business together and open up the Grand Palace on the Thames as a boarding house. Tristan is a customs agent who is sure that Lord Daring was smuggling cigars. And he decides that he's going to camp out at the Grand Palace as well, and he's going to find out what the heck is going on, where are these cigars, whatever. And there is, like, a cast of characters, these two sisters, and this, like, country gentleman, and or he's not really a country gentleman, I guess he's a traveling salesman, and this country gentleman who um, is running away from a wedding, but then also his bride, who was running away too. Like, it's fun. There's a little maid called Dot that's, like, super silly. She always seems to get them into trouble. It's super fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved seeing how everything came to be, but I also really enjoyed Tristan and Delilah. She was trying so hard to stand on her own two feet, and he is very much a soldier and kind of sees things in black and white and he has to kind of start to see them in shades of gray but also he realizes that he's falling for her he's not sure if that's what is like the right thing to do like I really liked it I thought it was good I liked the characters they were well fleshed out and this is a fantastic series starter um I already liked this series but if I read this book first I would have like continued reading it so like great but like I said I'm already reading this series I just didn't read this book first I really enjoyed it thought it was great solid four stars then I read The Dangers of Desire by Sabrina Jeffries. This is part of the Sinful Suitors series, so a new Sabrina Jeffries series for me. I already know that I love her, but this is a new series for me. So interestingly enough, I do not remember like loads about this book. Why? I don't know. It wasn't that long ago that I read it. Sometimes I just, it's like I remember nothing. And that doesn't mean that it was a bad book. I ended up giving it three stars, but I remember very little. The gist of it is we are following Delia and Warren. So Delia is a debutante and she like goes to balls and does whatever, but then late at night she's sneaking out and she is disguising herself as a man and she's going to gaming hells playing like games of chance basically to find out who drove her brother to, you know, he jumped off a bridge and, or fell off a bridge and drowned, but they think that was intentional. And she's kind of doing this in order to save herself and his widow from loveless marriages and Warren kind of catches on pretty quickly he realizes what the heck is going on and he decides that he is going to figure this out himself and he's also going to offer for her hand I thought this one was interesting I thought it was fun I liked the idea I love a revenge plot but it's her that wants revenge because it's usually the man that wants revenge and he's unsure of what's going on but it's her that wants revenge and I thought it was really interesting but like as I was reading it clearly because like I said I do not remember loads about it now um, I remember her servants being, like, so very, like, eager to help her. But I also remember, like, how the end of it played out. So, of course, they enter into this marriage, and then there are secrets that could tear them apart. I thought it was super well done, the way that, like, that storyline played out. But I just don't, like, nothing super memorable comes out. Like, once I sat down and thought about it, clearly I did remember. But it took me a little while, so that was my bad. 
Um, and then the last one that I read is Sweetest Scoundrel by Elizabeth Hoyt. Here's the thing. If I put an Elizabeth Hoyt on my TBR, I'm going to read it and I'm going to like it. I love the Maiden Lane series. So in this one, we are following Asa Makepeace and then we are following Eve. I do not remember her last name, Dinwoody. So Asa is opening or reopening this garden called Heart's Folly and Eve's brother is actually fronting him the money. She thinks that he's being too frivolous and like a, like going crazy spending so she tells him that she's going to cut him off. Her brother's like, mm -mm 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 -mm. so she decides that she's basically going to move into his office and like go over his accounts. So Asa is kind of a wild one. He just wants to do what he wants to do. One day she's in his office and she like a dog comes in and she's terrified of the dog. And also she's kind of afraid of men. She's actually very afraid of men, but she's not super afraid of Asa. Like they're able to be alone, but she does have um, like a manservant who follows her around at all times to make sure she's safe but the garden is being sabotaged and neither one of them really know what who why what when where but it seems to link back to Eve's fear of men and dogs but it's great she does overcome both of those fears she ends up adopting a dog which is fantastic he's a giant massive I love it and also her and Asa start to get closer and closer and enter into a relationship clearly because this is a romance novel I thought it was very look me and Aries are having trouble over here I thought it was very suspenseful I thought it was done well the little things that started happening that led to like bigger things thought it was super well done I love the character growth both on Eve and Asa's part both of them grew so much as characters throughout this because he has to kind of grow up in a way and then she is overcoming these traumas of her past. I just thought it was so well done. I really enjoyed it. I love Elizabeth Hoyt and I love Maiden Lane. So I'm, I feel like I'm pre-designed to like these, but I thought it was really good. I absolutely loved it. I think I gave this one five stars. So that's it. Those are the three books that I read. Um, I can tell you the three that I didn't read really quickly here. So I did not read What a Wallflower Wants. I did not read Duchess in Love and I did not read The Duke's Guide to Correct Behavior. So one of these days I will read them. I of course have aspirations to read every book that I own that's on this physical TBR. Um, we should probably go over those again and see like how many it is because I definitely need to reorganize my shelves again. As you see, there's like all these books stacked up, but I enjoyed the ones that I read. Happy that I read them. Um, but as usual, a little bit disappointed in myself because I didn't read the whole TBR, but that's okay. Any progress is progress. So that's it. That's all that I have for you guys today. I do hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.